I saw a picture on the internet of uh, what Mars could look like if it had, if it's being terraformed, which means they, they plant some trees and they start working on the atmosphere, and maybe you can't quite breathe as as well, but it's uh, you know it's, it's beginning to to become a place where humans can live, somewhere halfway through, you know. And to me, that was so interesting. And uh, I went to my co-writer, and we started talking about what's a cool story that could happen here. You know, maybe a group of people who are forgotten, or, or whatever it may be. And, and we both liked the story of uh, a survival. You know, one man by himself uh, in a plane, and then maybe there's someone else who ends up there. Maybe they don't speak the same language, uh, and that's where that's where that was born. Uh, and then I sent it to my agent, and then he said, this is a really wonderful story. Have you heard about The Martian, that movie that's coming out by Ridley Scott with Matt Damon? And I said, no, I hadn't heard about that. <laughs> uh, so then we changed it to the Arctic. You know, that's what the theme of the film is about, is this man is surviving, but he's, he's not truly living. So that was what we wanted to say was, um, how far will you go? How much will you risk your life for someone you don't know? For someone who's, who you don't even know if they can be saved. Her, in the state that she's in, you don't know if she's going to survive. I think a lot of us, you know, we try to put ourselves into some tough situations. Uh, you know, it's, uh, they call it the call of the void, you know, sometimes we don't know what we would do, but I think the vast majority of us would just keep going. Uh, well, we didn't have much money for special effects or for VFX, so all the weather that you see in the film, vast majority of it is real. So Mads is truly experiencing that, and the crew is also truly experiencing that. The winds were the worst. The, the temperature was a little bit higher than the Arctic, you know. Arctic gets down to negative 40 degrees. Um, over there was a little less. Uh, you know, but still, that was sometimes worse because it would be raining and then it would freeze and everybody would be slipping all the time. Um, and it would, it would be horrific with the winds. You know, Mads opened up a car door and it flew off of the car, broke and flew about 100 meters away. Um, and we were thinking, okay, maybe we don't shoot today. It was really tough, but that helps the crew be really close and tighten it together and work well in order to create the film that we did.